for years since I've been in the legislature, we've talked about diversifying Oklahoma's economy. And uh, we're an oil and gas state. We are going to remain an oil and gas state. And we're thankful for all the jobs oil and gas brings to Oklahoma. But one of the new areas that I'm really excited about is the Oklahoma Film Enhancement Rebate Program. We've been doing this for a while. We started off with about a $5 million a year cap. We lowered it to four, and now we're back to eight. And the $8 million rolling cap is set to expire in 2027. So we've got a few years to continue to work the program. But let's talk about the rebate for just a little while. Uh, the rebate system says that I've got to spend money in Oklahoma before I get money back. So if I spend $100 and I've got a 35% rebate, I get $35 back. That means the $65 stays in Oklahoma. But to qualify for these rebates is not just I'm going to show up and here's a movie now, here's my receipts. It, it is the idea that I have to let the film office know ahead of time. Matter of fact, 60 days ahead of time that I've got 50% of my funding and that I'm ready to go. And 30 days ahead of time, I've got to have all of my funding in place and that I'm ready to go prior to the starting of any filming in Oklahoma. The rebate offers a base percentage of 35%. But if you use Oklahoma musicians, and oh, we have a lot of them. There's Reba McIntyre and Garth Brooks and Tom Skinner. I mean, we've got all kinds of Oklahoma musicians. And if you use an Oklahoma musician and you use that music in your production, we'll give you an extra 2% rebate. It's a marvelous thing. And, and then when it's all over, you bring all of those receipts in and there is a CPA who begins to look at the receipts and say, okay, does this qualify or not qualify as an Oklahoma expenditure? We're not going to give you a rebate if you're paying people from out of state. We're not going to give you a rebate if you're going to take it out of state. We want the money spent inside of Oklahoma helping Oklahomans. And so what have we done? Well, there's Killers of the Flower Moon. Over $120 million investment in Oklahoma. And I'm so excited about it. I hope you read the book. I've read the book and it's a great book. In, in the eastern part, in Oatmogee County, Reservation Dogs. That's a film series. And then recently up in Guthrie, they filmed Reagan. And it's interesting, in a report from the Oklahoma Film Office, and we can say even during the pandemic, in fiscal year 20, we employed 3,960 Oklahomans contributed a direct fiscal impact of more than $32.8 million to the state's economy. Here's the good news. In fiscal year July 1, 2020 through July 30, 2021, we estimate the creation of 10,218 local jobs with a direct fiscal impact of $161.7 million from 33 film and television productions utilizing the state's incentive program. I tell you what, Tava and the folks at the Oklahoma Film and Music Office have done a fabulous job. Recently, we released a film, The Girl Who Believes in Miracles. Recently released. It's a great thing to have. And so, what's happened around the state? Well, we have Prairie Surf there downtown Oklahoma City taking the old Cox Convention Center. We have five recording sound stages. It's, it's fabulous, and I've toured that. I, I, I've been out to Dell City where that there are OSU graduates who've been to New York and California, and they've learned their trade, and now they've come back and invested over $2 million in Dell City at Castle Row. That's post-production. I've been to Green Pastures, where there's a group of people who've taken a school that has gone out of business, and they've taken the auditorium and turned it into a soundstage, and the classroom space into a training, and working with our career tech system, they've graduated over 45 people so far that can work in the film and music industry. Film and music is alive and well in Oklahoma. Just whenever you're out and around and maybe you're in the Plaza District and you look over and you recognize somebody who's in Oklahoma eating an ice cream cone. It's neat to be in Oklahoma in 2021 as the film program continues to bring not only an economic boost to Oklahoma, but it brings a lot of interesting people as well.